What the hell? Windows on a Mac? Yes, that's right, people. Windows can actually run on a Mac these days. Ever since, I don't know, mid-2000s when they started putting Intel chips into the Macintoshes. That's right, Windows is now on the Mac. And today we are showcasing one of the ways to put uh, Windows on your Mac. Introducing Parallels Desktop 6 for the Mac. Very easy to use, very easy to set up. Simple setup process, you just uh, pop in your Windows disk, install it just like you would on Windows, and it's right there. Now I've started up Windows right here. You can see we're in a um, in a window view, and, and what you can tell uh, from uh, Parallels Desktop 6 with Windows is you've actually still got all the options up here on your Mac as you would just on the top bar here. So um, you've got all the options here that you regularly would on a Mac, uh, depending on what application you're in, of course. Now, the one of the cool things I really want to show you today about Parallels Desktop 6, 6 for the Mac is actually some of the viewing options. So I'm, I'm just going to go to View, and as you can see, I'm in Window Mode, which is self-explanatory. Um, you know, you've got a window here within within your Mac, and you've got all the options here at the bottom, and it yeah, it just looks like a window with windows in it. So I'm going to go to View, and then I'm going to show you full screen view. Now this is a great way to trick your friends and either make them think that you're running boot camp or either make them think that you hacked the hell out of your Mac and that you are only running Windows and not Mac OS X. So as you can see to switch from full screen to window mode uh, click the top left corner or press alt command enter. So I'm just going to exit that. They give you these uh, sort of nice little tips um, on the way, on, on your journey uh, within Parallels Desktop 6, so that's very helpful. Most software will not give you tips like that. So we're in full screen mode and uh, nobody would even know it. If, you, if somebody walked up to your Mac and saw this, they'd be like, what the hell, why is... I thought this is a Mac. Uh, but it is, it is a Mac and it's just running Windows. Now, you can do everything that you usually would on Windows here, you got your start bar, all programs, you can do whatever the hell you want here and uh, it works just like a PC. Now to get out of it, um, all you have to do is just go to the top left hand corner here and you can see it peels down, you just hit back, just click it and it'll flip right back over to window mode. Now that was one of the cool modes. Um, another interesting mode, which I haven't quite figured out yet, is this mode, uh, modality. So if you just click that, it sort of turns it into like a small small window. I'm not exactly sure why you'd want this. I think maybe because it doesn't have um, the options that the uh, window mode had. So it kind of... Um, actually it kind of does look cool. It is very cool. It, it actually sort of like seeps into the background of your Mac as you can see. You can see my wallpaper is sort of seeping through when I'm not actually active on the window. But when I click back onto the window it uh, comes alive again. And the great thing about uh, Parallels Desktop 6 is it integrates very well with your Mac. For example, if I open up, uh, let's say, iTunes here on my Mac, all I have to do is just click open iTunes, and there you can see we've got iTunes open right here with it. And you can see all the uh, Mac commands still apply on your keyboard. I can go into Expose and just either go back between my Mac application, which is iTunes, or the Parallels desktop application, which is running Windows. Now, another cool uh, view which I would love to show you, which I don't think other um, virtual machine uh, applications can boast, is this view over here called Coherence. Now, this is by far the coolest view I have seen on Parallels Desktop uh, 6. This is very cool. All you do is just click Coherence, it says Starting Coherence, and you wouldn't really think it did anything, but it actually did. If you go down to the Parallels desktop icon here, this actually acts as our start menu. So it's it's really integrated itself within the OS X system. And you can pretty much just do whatever you would in Windows, but it's amazing. I can't even explain how well this works. You could open up, uh, for example, um, let's just say Internet Explorer. Don't judge me, I use Chrome. But you could open up Winter Internet Explorer and you can see how well it integrates itself within the Mac environment. It's got the whole Windows border and everything within um, the Mac environment, which is very cool. 
very, very awesome. Uh, so that is one of the cool things about uh, Parallels Desktop, is this coherence mode which you've got here. It's just amazing. Um, so you could open up, for example, let's say my documents, and then I could go to my desktop. Now you can see on my Windows desktop over here, I have pretty much the exact same files as I do over here. For example, there's a file here called uh, PD6-1, and you can see it's over here, PD6-1. And I've got a video here called content aware underscore TLR. You can see it also appears here on my uh, Windows. So it's, it's very much the same. Uh, so if you put something on the, um, if you add like another file here onto the uh, Windows desktop, it'll appear on the Mac desktop and vice versa. Very cool. So that was one of the biggest things I wanted to show you today was the uh, viewing options. It's very amazing at what it can do, the viewing options. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to uh, window mode. Uh, so if I just click back on here. Oh, so you can actually up the top here, you've got your little um, icon here. This It's like a pause icon, a red pause icon, so that's actually uh, your Parallels desktop icon. So you can see here it says Alt-click to see full menu. Uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, actually, yep, hit Alt-click to see the full menu. So now I'm going to go back to View, and then I'm going to back to Window. Now, another thing Parallels Desktop 6 really boasts compared to um, either like VMware or any other a virtual machine is great gaming performance and 3D graf graphics. And I can actually vouch for this. I've installed an open source 3D game called OpenBVE. And I have it open right here. Now, usually this game requires a lot of, of uh, you know, like a really good graphics card and a lot of memory. But right now, on the settings I've got it, it's, it actually works really well. And I'm just going to show that to you. It's really smooth, the graphics. Um, I'm just going to show you. I'll just quickly start. It's actually a train simulator. So you can, you can tell. It, it, most simulators, by the way, obviously will have uh, very high-end graphics because it's a simulator and it's meant to simulate real life. So that's why I thought this game would be the perfect um, game to, show, to showcase on um, this actual piece of software just to see how good it is. So you can see the game's loading right here. And once the game loads fully, uh, you'll be able to see either the graphics are very smooth, very sleek, and um, sorry, I just minimized it there, waiting for it to load. Some th This is one of the things I've actually found which might be a problem. It does uh, actually act uh, so it's not actually responding. But we'll open it up again. Um, yeah, sometimes it does act a bit slow, um, I guess, because it, it knows it's not in its original environment. So it, it doesn't actually act that fast. Um, but remember, you're running two operating systems uh, within one. So, I mean, you can't expect it to be super fast unless you have a high-end Mac. But this is quite good for me. And I'm going to show you now in gaming. So again, we're just going to load the game. And it also, you can see the load times aren't that slow. I mean, this is usually how long it would take to load on a regular PC. Okay, so we've got the game loaded here, as you can see. And um, what I'm going to do is just turn up my sound so I can hear. And then I'm going to uh, just close the doors of the train. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to hit uh, Control and Alt to release the mouse from the actual window so I can move it around here. And I can make it much bigger if I'd like to. And actually, what might be better is if I run this in full screen mode. So I'm going to release the mouse again, Control Alt, and then just hit View and full screen. So I'm going to run this in full screen mode. Okay, so this is much better. I'm in full screen mode right right now. And uh, I'm just going to close the doors of the train. I'm going to start off 
by driving quite slowly. So you can see, all right, the graphics aren't too bad. You know, no j uh, jagged lines, no glitching, no lag, as you can see so far. And as I put up the throttle on the train, getting faster and faster, now I'm on full throttle. One thing I have noticed, if you have, is that there is sort of like a ticking sound on the graphics. As you can hear, every few seconds it just makes a little ticking sound. So there's like sort of a twitch within the graphics, uh, within the actual sound of the game. But as you can see, the graphics are performing really well right now. There's no lag whatsoever. All, all the graphics are in high quality, top form. There's no glitching. So you can see how well the graphics work. And now, as you can see, we're back in full screen mode. So people, yes, you have seen it. This is a great way to run Windows on your Mac, Parallels Desktop 6. Uh, you can run anything from games to um, word processing documents, uh, I don't know, Microsoft Word or OpenOffice or anything like that. Uh, perfect for all the uh, software that you can't actually use on a Mac. It's perfect just to have there, sit there, um, you know, you may be in a business where where there's a, where you rely on a certain piece of software that only works on a on a um, PC. So this would be great for you. I know, in fact, in the Apple Store, they use um, virtual machines to uh, set up a, a new iPhone activation account. Uh, they use virtual machines because, um, well, the uh, the websites where they actually actually set up the virtual uh, so where they set up the actual phone activation uh, can only be done on Internet Explorer, so they need Internet Explorer to do that, so um, the Apple Store, they use virtual machines to set up uh, the iPhone 4, at least they do in Australia, I'm not sure what it's like overseas. But this does retail for um, $109, I believe, in the Apple Store in Australia. Definitely check it out, uh, I'm sure you can find a cheaper price online maybe, but it's a very, very awesome product, highly recommend it, especially for graphics intensive programs like games. Um, they, they have lived up to the challenge of making a great uh, virtual machine which supports games and I just haven't seen that in any, any other um, vir uh, virtual machine software such as VMware or anything else or even Boot Camp uh, isn't so good sometimes. So definitely check it out. This has been Daniel with Parallels Desktop 6.